आपका स्वागत है एक ऐसे घर में जिससे इंडियन मिलिट्री का इंडियन आर्मी का इतिहास जुड़ा हुआ है और अब इंडियन एयरफोर्स का भी खैर कहानी बहुत पुरानी है लेकिन ये नाम इंडियन आर्मी के हर बच्चे बूढ़े जवान सर्विंग ऑफिसर रिटायर्ड बिफोर गोइंग टू द आर्मी सबकी जबान पे है और शायद आपके लिए फेमिलियर होगा लेकिन सबसे पहले मैं आपको इंट्रोड्यूस कराता हूँ अपने होस्ट के साथ जो आज हमें इस ब्यूटीफुल चाय पे होस्ट कर रहे हैं ए मार्शल के सी करयापा हाउ यू सर शुक्रिया मैं ठीक हूँ ऊपर वाले की दुआ से मैं बिल्कुल ठीक हूँ आई स्टार्ट विद द विद द ग्रेटेस्ट मैन फॉर द इंडियन आर्मी एट लीस्ट आई बिलीव दैट द फील्ड मार्शल फील्ड मार्शल के एम करयापा and what is the km stand for first because K, not too many people K remember k is the clan hmm. which is kodendera kodendera m is and that's your first name as well no it's my clan your clan name right. m okay. is madapa which is his father's name okay so he is k m karyapa i am k c karyapa because okay, so karyapa karyapa but as i should have been say k c changapa right okay see bopaya but when i was born Both my grandfathers were alive, and father mm. said, well, "If I give one, the other will get hurt." So he gave me his own name, and so I am Kodendera Karyapa Karyapa. Fantastic! So a double Karyapa. Yes. Yeah. And a, if I want to be hoity toity, Karyapa <laughs> hyphen Karyapa. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. But sir, आपको ये घर एक तो बहुत ही historic घर है. आपके बचपन की यादें मतलब थोड़ा बहुत से हैं. थोड़ा कम है कम ही हैं. ठहरे नहीं वैसे. अच्छा. Of course. बहुत कम ठहरे क्योंकि क्योंकि मैं तो फिर से 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 जब चीखे मेरा आंख खुली तो फौज में रहा <laughs> और तो तो ये बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन है सर एफोर्स आप एफोर्स में बट ऑफ कोर्स फील्ड मार्शल इन द आर्मी तो ये कैसे आपने एफोर्स कैसे चूज किया ओवर आर्मी व्हाई नॉट द आर्मी ये सवाल काफी काफी बार मेरे को पूछा गया जी और मैं एक मेरे एक ही ये है जवाब है वो ये कि अगर मैं आर्मी में भर्ती होता जी तो सब कहते हैं कि एक तो ये जनरल कार्याप का बेटा है जी अगर मैं कुछ ठीक करूं अच्छे से करूं और पीर पे वो शबाशी अगर मैं कुछ पीर ठीक से नहीं करूं और कुछ क्या क्या सजा नहीं मिले इनके क्योंकि इनके बेटा है या तो सजा नहीं मिला या हाय राम जनरल करियर का बेटा ऐसा क्या कैसा कर सकता यू वो शॉट डाउन बिहाइंड एनिमी लाइंस इन 1965 टेल मी टेल मी अबाउट दैट हाउ हाउ डिड दैट हैपन हाउ इज व्हाट्स द स्टोरी विद दैट ऑल राइट इन 1965 आई वाज लोकेटेड इन अंबाला दैट्स एपिक पार्टनर इन हलवारा एंड आई वाज अटैच्ड टू नंबर 7 स्क्वाड्रन कॉल्ड द बैटल एक्सेस आवर रोल वाज टू प्रोवाइड क्लोज सपोर्ट to the army hmm. and carry out offensive missions in the area south of um, uh, amritsar south of lahore hmm. in the kem karan kasur area and that uh, that region so on this particular morning 22nd of G- september 1965 i was detailed to lead a four aircraft formation hmm. to carry out a, tra- a strike against targets of opportunity hmm. and bridges one of the aircraft fell out because he had a Uh, uh, snake he couldn't take so mm. three of us taxi out three we got airborne mm. having got airborne one aircraft had a fuel leak so he had to return right this is before we crossed what we call the bomb line mm. if we were to cross the bomb line in enemy territory he would have to be escorted back and that sort he would be because then we'd have been they would uh, just a one man yeah, mus- so one man mission okay. yeah So in the circumstance, because it happened uh, over the territory, mm-hmm. I said you go back, and there were two of us, a chap called Baby Segal who eventually joined um, Air India. Mm-hmm. He was my number two, and we carried out attacks on tanks, whatever we saw, plumes of dust. We saw okay convoy, we carrying bombs, we dropped bombs on a bridge. I think it was called uh, Rai Wind, Vicky Wind, or something. Mm-hmm. And on our way back, uh, we were. Suddenly fired upon by ground fire. Hmm. And so where it was coming from? We were coming back pretty fast, very low, to avoid being picked up by enemy uh, aircraft. Hmm. Oh, okay. And we opened fire, shot at this pretty where this fire was coming from, and that's when I got hit by ground fire. Hmm. My aircraft was badly hit; it was on fire. Hmm. I had an injury here on hmm. my arm, and uh, my number two. Baby Sega said, "Carry your hit. You're mm. on fire. Eject." Mm. 
I said, I know. Hmm. Because all my warning lights had come on. If you're on an aircraft, aircraft is on fire, you're hearing all these flashings, lights chaldering, alarms buzzing. What happens at that time? Is it fear? Is this training they go? What happens at that moment? Training. Hmm. You're taught. If there's a doubt, there's no doubt, punch out. Hmm. And here, there's no, I had no choice. Hmm. Right? Right. The, um, because I'm told after I get, got back mm. from baby Segal and somebody else, is we don't know whether you we couldn't tell them whether you had uh, survived Ejected or not. Yeah. Because within moments, your aircraft exploded. So just after you ejected, the aircraft yeah. exploded in the air? Well, in well, the air or on, on the ground, more likely yeah. than on impact on, on the impact. ground. Right. And you were just following your training and just pressing yeah, buttons? Yeah, this is what you're taught. I mean, if, you, mm. if there's an emergency, if you're able to deal with the emergency, well and good. But if you mm. can't, your life is more valuable than the aircraft. Absolutely. Right? So, um, how was the experience being behind so, enemy lines? Were they were they good to you? Did they... I didn't know. They, they treated me as a combatant. Mm. I was put onto a stretcher. Mm. Taken to the very formation we were attacking. Mm. It turned out to be a brigade headquarters. And um, I was asked standard questions from corner. What's your name? My name is so and so, my number is so and so, and my rank is so. Are you related to General Kariapa? I said, My name is so and so, my rank is so and so. <laughs> they must have got news by that time, Ki yeah. I get a flight left in Kariapa, Joby Coach Hall. So um, then I was taken to um, a rear aid post, a place called Luliani. Mm. From there, I went to Lahore, to the, mm. to the uh, military hospital, general hospital there. I was there for two days put onto a train blindfolded and went, I remember getting to the railway station at Attock. Mm. And from Attock, he went by road a short distance to a fort called Dargai. That was your POW camp? That was a POW camp. So how long was your complete total confinement? Oh, not very long at all, by mm. any standard. It right. was four months to the day. Four months? Nothing. Yeah, well. Nothing. <laughs> you know, when you when you hark back mm. to the Second World War, to Vietnam, you talk to Korea. Yes. And you know what they're with? Yes. John they, McCain, the American yeah. senator, seven years. Yeah. His father was chief of the U.S. Navy Pacific Command. Mm. I got back on 22nd of September, January. Mm. <clears throat> I was low medical category. I was appointed as ADC to Air Chief Marshal Urgency. Mm. I was with him 67, 68 when I was getting a little antsy and said, sir, I'd like to get back to flying. When I can't fly, I can't get back onto fighters. May I go uh, fly helicopters? He says, he thought about it. And I said, why do you want? So I said, as I was Cornida by now. I said, as a Cornida, I can command a unit. Hmm. So I went off to, um, after two and a half years with him, I went and did my helicopter conversion in Jodhpur and then was com uh, posted to command a helicopter unit in Hasimara. Fantastic. So, so helicopters or the hunter? Hunter or helicopters? Heavy... No, but which one do you prefer, if given a choice? Oh, today's helicopters are something else. Oh, they're something else. Oh now. my yeah. God! Yeah. <laughs> get a different ball game. Whether it's the the Apache or the. Would, would you love to get your hands on one? I'd love to. By God, yes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I can see that smile yeah, on yeah, your face. Absolutely. <laughs> and. Um, but except today's Air Force, is, they talk a different language. It's something, mm. it, it's, uh, when I was talking about Dido, uh, Dodo and Dino, mm. I'm that as far as they're concerned. <laughs> I'm a dinosaur. So it's a totally different technical it's level. Diff everything is different. Right. Right? And but you still love to fly one of those oh, attack to helicopters. Fly. I love to fly, absolutely. <laughs> and and uh, you, you could always tell an old soldier's wistful smile when he talks about weaponry <laughs> and how he'd love to get his hands on it. Another question that you know I have to ask. What, what do you want to say to the young people out there who are hearing you or watching you? What message do you want to give to the Nothing, young youth I, of I, India? This is something I've been <clears throat> talking about all along. Whenever I meet with any young men and now young women, there is no better environment in which to become a, a complete human being than in the armed forces. Mm. Thank you, sir. We, we, should, we will meet more often. That's, that's my honor. Inshallah. Inshallah. <laughs>